Hey everybody and welcome back to another max velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be going over that severe weather potential for this upcoming week across areas from the southern plains back through the midwest we're also going to be discussing your halloween forecast and if trick-or-treating will be nice for you this year let's first begin though with the ongoing weather across the united states because we do have a couple of interesting features beginning with that trough that's currently centered back down in the ohio valley this has been an interesting system because it brought a bunch of tornadoes down to areas like Alabama and Mississippi yesterday. If you watched yesterday's live stream, you saw that we were watching several tornado warnings, which almost, I think at least a dozen tornadoes happened down there. So it was very active yesterday. Luckily, we're not talking about any tornadoes today. This system is moving off to the Northeast. The moisture, the uh, warm air coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, not going to be enough to produce any tornado threat back up in areas like the Ohio Valley, and as well as through the Northeast. Also back in the Northwest portions of the United States, we have a decent amount of snow and rain currently ongoing there that will be a trend over the next 12 to 24 hours and we also have a high pressure system beginning to keep texas dry for the foreseeable future but the big discussion is the severe weather potential heading into this upcoming week and we already have a slight risk for severe weather on both thursday and friday this is our first day going to thursday we have a slight risk of severe weather through kansas western oklahoma and as well as the panhandle of texas damaging winds large hail and tornadoes will all be possible both thursday and and Friday across the southern plains on Friday the threat shifts a bit further down to the south that does not mean areas outside of here won't see severe weather because this is just a slight risk this isn't the marginal threat that we sometimes see outside of here but the slight risk extends from Oklahoma back through North Texas and all the way back down into the hill country so we'll be watching this very closely because again all modes of severe weather will be possible the jet stream over the next few days going into the mid to the late week the trough will actually begin positively tilted this is what's going to bring the severe weather potential to areas over in the southern plains and as well as back through the central plains eventually heading into about friday into saturday though this eventually becomes a cutoff low and eventually will go negatively tilted so this is not something that we want to see because this is something that we typically see more of a tornado threat with when it goes negatively tilted like this and it will eventually move into areas like the midwest so we have to watch this long term too it's not just the southern plains that's going to be impacted by potentially some severe weather we could see severe weather go into areas like the midwest and also potentially the Ohio Valley as well. All right, future radar going into Thursday night into Friday. This is the initial storms that we'll begin to see uh, from about Nebraska back through about Kansas. We could see some severe weather as well ramp up across Oklahoma and the Panhandle of Texas, potentially going to late Thursday night into Friday morning. Eventually going to Friday, some scattered showers and storms. A much more per, uh, pronounced area of storms will definitely develop across areas in the southern plains heading into late Friday into Saturday. And this is what the, it looks like back down to the south. So again, a lot of storm activity. I would expect the main concern to be damaging winds at this point but we very well might see some large to very large hail and also a potential for a couple of tornadoes eventually going into late saturday and the sunday morning this will move off to the east we'll see any storm activity back into areas like louisiana arkansas and missouri and then it'll all clear out of the southern plains heading into about early sunday so some good news there but going to the midwest it's a whole different story we could see this low pressure system bring a little bit of severe weather potentially to areas in illinois and missouri could even go into areas like uh, southern wisconsin heading into maybe Sunday and this system will move very quickly so uh, by like late Sunday this trough is going to be almost out of the United States into Canada so it's a very quick moving trough for sure we could even see some snow behind this so we'll have to monitor that potential pretty closely for maybe a little winter storm on the back end so definitely something to monitor long term but again we're pretty far out from then uh, at this point going into the temperatures over the next 7 to 10 days we're not going to see any huge changes into the temperatures at this point really round or above average temperatures will be expected across a large area of the United States. Eventually heading into next week though, we could see temperatures drop in the northern plains and maybe the northern Midwest. So we'll be watching that pretty closely. Rain over the next seven days looks very beneficial. There's really no areas that won't see some sort of precipitation. Uh, a lot of rain is coming to areas like Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, and even North Texas. So a lot of rain over in those areas. Otherwise, typical rain for most part uh, across the rest of the United States and also in the Northwest, we'll see an increased amount of rain. Halloween. A lot of people are wondering, what's my Halloween forecast looking like? Well, overall, it's going to be pretty nice i mean honestly if you're trick-or-treating the only areas that have to be mindful of below average temperatures or even below freezing i should say will be back up here in the higher elevations in colorado back through uh idaho otherwise midwest even the upper midwest gonna be talking like upper 40 so maybe just a jacket and that'll be about it as well as new england otherwise mild conditions expected across the united states and precipitation not the best for a few areas i'd point out a couple of areas like south texas and as well as back through areas into the ohio valley and northeast and as well as the mid 
Atlantic region and as well as back through the Northwest United States. It might be a little bit wet out there. So uh, Halloween might get postponed or it might just be wet and it might be a little bit miserable. But other than that, it should be a pretty nice one across the rest of the United States with a ridge dominating our region. Make sure to like button down below, subscribe if you're not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting.